Hello, my fellow friends. Today is a special day because it is the day that I was thinking of you. Your input and know-how can make a great difference to the world. What am I talking about, you ask? Well, you and I and a few other of my fellow cohorts will be building a major movement throughout the city of Philadelphia. I thought of you because I feel that you can offer a great piece to the missing puzzle. Let me cut to the chase. You know me, and if my integrity serves me right, and if my integrity wasn't as sharp as a whistle, I'd be drowning in self-pain and self-pity. But I'm not, because this mission is mind-boggling, world-soaring, and a mastermind creation. I thought of you because I feel that you have the credentials to follow suit. Now before I begin to tell you of this great idea, I want to first make sure that you can take part in it. If you answer yes to any of these questions, which basically is the major part of the task, then you're more than likely a great fit for this mission. The questions I have for you are, one, do you have at least four spare hours within a six month period? Question two, would you mind entertaining the thought of fellowshipping with other like-minded people for a great cause? Question three, would you be interested in giving your opinion on various issues regarding health, parenting, drug abuse, and or relationships? Question four, would you mind having your name adorned and displayed on a letter of elite status? And lastly, question five, would you accept a challenge to rule out youth panhandling and a challenge to prohibit violence, drug abuse, and other offenses to community members? If you've answered yes to any one or all of the questions, then you'd probably be a great candidate for our board of directors. Yes, out of the many people I know, you were the first pick for this outstanding position. No time may be floating in your mind right now. I think you not only can find six spare hours within a six month time frame, but you will be totally enlightened to see and hear all the many features, ideas, people, and provoking thoughts that come with engaging on the board of directors. No money may also be a thought. You may say, no money. That may also be a thought. But board members are not obliged to pay anything unless they wish to do so. There are no surprises, no gimmicks. There are no tricks up my sleeve. My main mission is to follow through with God's plan. You may think, I can't right now. I'm way too busy. Well, the one good thing about technology and my God-given common sense is that I am all too aware of the sometimes hectic, bombarded, crazy, elusive, unpredictable, even unbearable schedules that we all have. That's why you only meet twice a year for two to three hours. If by the remote chance that we hold an impromptu meeting, technology kicks in and we visually and briefly meet online. I can't respond by the first deadline date. We understand and hope that you can favorably respond by the second deadline date. I understand that skepticism whirls around our heads like a nagging mosquito. But if it's just skepticism, drop it and see how it works out for the first few months. 
Or you may say, I am not interested at all in taking part in this venture. And we appreciate your time and we thank you. The positions we have available for our executive board are President, Treasurer, Secretary, Chairman, Chairwoman, and Chaplain. The executive producer oversees the legality, financial, and territorial rights of Revive Network. They are aware and representative of any higher end issues that may occur. They are particularly involved in the status of Revive Network remaining intact. The executive treasurer oversees the input and output of funds. They are directly involved in the creation and sustenance of initial funding coming into Revive Network. But they are particularly involved in being aware of a regulated amount of collateral coming into Revive Network. The Executive Secretary maintains minutes in orderly fashion, adding input and recording all agendas during impromptu and regular meetings. The Executive Chairman Chairwoman oversees special projects, assuring that pre-operations and staff volunteerism are met. They are particularly involved in the preconception and assistance in the follow-through of special events. The chaplain, offering spiritual guidance and templates in meetings, special gatherings, they are particularly involved in maintaining a steady course of focused attention on Jesus Christ. Now, as stated in your personalized letter, your duties have been compromised to assuring that these tasks are completed. But it is not your sole duties to follow through with this on a daily activity. These will be completed by the operational staff, volunteers from Revive Network. You are simply overseeing what takes place, either by letter or by email. Please see accompanying video for further details. As time flies, responses are needed in a timely fashion. Please respond by corresponding email and or phone. I thank you so much for your time. And here is my phone number. And here is my contact information. You can contact me from email, by email, at n2revive at gmail.com. Phone number is 215-758-5492. I do hope to hear from you, and God bless.